Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back doing another uh, bracket. This will be bracket number two for the NCAA tournament. I'll be looking at upsets and uh, possible ones and possible teams that could make it pretty far. Um, just trying to narrow down who I want to have um, with the upsets and stuff like that. Still got a ways to go before my final bracket. Um, I might not release my final bracket all the way up until like Thursday, early Thursday, because <clears throat> uh, the the place, the two places where I, you know, I bet with my bracket don't require you to have it submitted until Thursday morning because of the, because of the thing with like Michigan and Tulsa, as well as Vanderbilt and Wichita State, because if Tulsa beats Michigan, no one's going to take them over Notre Dame, but if, no, if Michigan beats Tulsa, I have seen a few people taking Michigan over uh, Notre Dame, and as well as Wichita State. And Wichita State and Bandy, I could see either one of them pulling the upset on Arizona. Um, I just don't see Tulsa doing it to Notre Dame. Tulsa's kind of that odd team out that shouldn't be in the tournament and probably shouldn't win a game. Uh, and then the, the, the 5-12s and 4-13s, I do like a lot of the matchups. Iona versus Iowa State, that's a pretty pretty bad matchup for Iowa State. Um UNC Wilmington and Yale are kind of bad matchups for Duke and Baylor. Uh, South Dakota State, I watched them win over North Dakota. That's not a great matchup for Maryland. And Hawaii versus Cal, that's a bad matchup for Cal. Um, if I remember correctly, Hawaii wants to get up and down the floor and score. They've got guards uh, who can handle and maintain the ball um, at that high pace. So that's kind of a deadly matchup for Cal. Um, let's see here. Stony Brook and Chattanooga are probably the two that I don't feel the greatest about for four or fives. Um, if Stony Brook and Chattanooga were playing elsewhere, because Indiana and Kentucky, you now Maryland is up there. Probably Kentucky, Maryland, Iowa State, Indiana is probably the order of the best four or fives, but... Um, they just drew kind of bad matchups. If Yogi Farrell plays well for Indiana, I don't think Chattanooga has a chance. And really, if Kentucky just plays Kentucky basketball, they won't have a problem with Stony Brook. Uh, but you never know. Um, what was it Belmont? Was a 14 seed and upset? I had that. I had that game picked when Belmont upset Duke, uh, just because Belmont, when they're in the tournament, they are a hot three-point shooting team, and you can that. That's kind of the big things for upsets is. A lot of the time, teams will have to hit those threes um, to make the upset. Um, I think that's about all. Gonzaga, Seton Hall, now that I've sat back and thought about it from last night, uh, Wiltshire and Sabonis uh, present huge problems for Seton Hall. Um, I believe Seton Hall would have had a whole lot more problems with Villanova if Ochefu would have been 100% in the championship game because uh, Jalen Reynolds doesn't present the same um uh, issues down low as uh, Ochefu does, uh, so Seton Hall kind of got a got an easier matchup with Ochefu being out because uh, then you or I don't Villanova was more in a four guard set with Jenkins, Archie Diacono, um, Hart, and Bridges, uh, opposed to being able to go a little bit bigger and take advantage of Seton Hall. So Gonzaga a real hot pick as an 11 over a six. Same with Northern Iowa over Texas. Northern Iowa has some really good wins on the year, uh, and so they're an interesting one. I still like Green Bay. If I'm taking a 14 over a 3, yeah, that's the one I'm taking. Carrington Love and Green Bay over A&M. Um, and then up here, Stephen F. Austin is an interesting one. They kind of got a bad matchup with West Virginia, uh, but Stephen F. Austin has been in the tournament the last three years, and so... They have experience, they have knowledge of how this goes, they've pulled an upset before, uh, so they're not going to be afraid of West Virginia. I would like them a crap ton more if they were going up against any of the other numbers. If they were up against Utah, I'd have no problem picking them. I would pick uh, um, uh, Stephen F. Austin over Utah. I'd pick them over Texas A&M probably. I don't know about Miami. Miami and West Virginia were the two bad draws if you were a 14 seed. I feel more, I feel the most confident with those two teams uh, than I do against Texas A&M and Utah. Texas A&M had that huge slide midseason, and to be honest, they really never completely recovered. 
Uh, and they still have, so I don't even know how much I want to trust them. Uh, technically, they should be a four seed, and Kentucky should be the three. Uh, probably Kentucky would be playing, I would assume they'd be playing Buffalo and Miami would be playing Green Bay. Uh, but let's go through this and, uh, go ahead and try to make a few upset picks. Uh, so we're going to go Kansas, not going to take a 16 over a one. Uh, we'll take UConn over Colorado. I'm going to stick with Maryland and I'm going to take Hawaii in this bracket. Um, I, I, more of I've thought about it, I do like Hawaii. They've got the guards. Um, and the tournament is usually guard oriented. You know, there's been a few times, um, the Florida team with Noah and who else was on that? There was another big on that team. That team was, they had guards, but they were big oriented. There are just, you know, Kentucky, Kentucky last year being 38. No, they were more big oriented, even though they had Harrison's and they had Booker and Euless. I still, they, they were, but they didn't win. Um, Wisconsin was big oriented last year. They did have some good guard play. You have to have some sort of good guard play, but you know, just because you're more guard oriented doesn't mean necessarily you're going to win. Um, I'm going to stick with my upset pick of Wichita State over Arizona, uh, and I'm going to roll Miami beating Buffalo. Uh, I won Temple. I, I I like Temple in this game. I was just been. People are talking about how Iowa is going to beat Villanova. But Iowa has to beat Temple first, and I don't think they can do it. Iowa has just been so horrible over the last... They got beat by Illinois in the tournament. They had lost, what was it? I think it was five out of six down the stretch, and they weren't all the good teams. They got that miracle, or not miracle, but they got that... that they got lucky against Michigan that their shots went down, Um but they have been shooting horribly. They haven't been playing great defense. They they just have not looked good. And so I'm just not going to pick them. I think Temple, Iowa is the hot pick there. I think I was looking at the, the national bracket. Iowa is getting picked over Temple like 3-1. to one. Um, and, I, and I don't really I don't really get it. I guess it's a lot of people do their brackets as how the experts pretty much tell them to do their brackets on those TV shows. Um and, and pretty much everybody picks I picked Iowa, but I don't know Temple Temple American champions of the regular season uh, just got caught with against that hot UConn team. They would have been if UConn would have been uh, one seed lower, I believe they would have been playing opposite, and then they would have met in the championship game. And it's always hard when you catch a hot team coming off a huge win in four overtimes, um, and it's your and, and, and you haven't played much in the tournament, and they've been playing for a while. It's just it's just a hard thing um I think Temple caught a bad break with UConn winning that four overtime game and then not being tired they were still fresh uh UConn Kansas that's one of those nine ones that I like as well as Providence versus UNC I'm not gonna take them right now um even though I, th I think it's like past seven years or something like that a one seed hasn't made it to the second week of the tournament um uh, Maryland over Hawaii I do like Hawaii though against Maryland um, but not enough to take them because I think Hawaii, Hawaii, while they do present some problems for Maryland, I don't think they can keep up with Diamond Stone inside of the paint. Uh, but I think they can keep up with Melo Trimble, Rashid Suleiman, uh, Carter. There is, I, I just think Diamond Stone would be the X factor in that Hawaii Maryland game. Wichita State Miami would be interesting. Wichita State has probably more NCAA experience than Miami. Um, they also have made it farther in the tournament than Miami. Uh, I just can't pick them over. But one of these things that you can do is you can have fun with this. Um, if you go Wichita State Vandy and you know you're going to have Villanova beating Wichita State, or you're going to have them beating Miami anyway, it's one of those picks that may be able to secure you a few extra points in a bracket, also lose you some points. Um, but we'll have Wichita State making it to the Sweet 16, upsetting Miami and Arizona. Those are probably, in my opinion, no, no, never mind. Utah is the weakest. Utah, and I, I, I like Miami. Miami's my second favorite three seed, I guess. Um, but six seeds, I think Arizona is probably the one I have the least faith in. No, Texas is. It's Texas then Arizona. Uh, so we get here and we got Villanova. I'm going to take Maryland in the upset. I have no reason why I'm picking Maryland, just simply because I really want them to get their crap together and play as they should. 
They should they should be a top three, top two seed if they played up to their talent, but they have just had some awful losses. They couldn't they never got it together against either game of against Michigan, which is mind blowing. Um, because Michigan really isn't that good and they just could never stop Michigan. It was weird. Uh Maryland just had a weird year. Um they're a lot better than their seeding and they're a lot better than they played. Um, but that's just my opinion. Uh, as a Villanova fan, I do like this bracket. That Iowa matchup does present some problems, but I'm not really scared of Iowa. Like last year when Villanova went down, I was afraid of uh, NC State. I knew I'd watched a good chunk of NC State games, and I knew Cat Barber was the real deal and all that stuff, so I was worried about that game. Not so worried about Iowa or Temple. Um, and the Miami and Arizona don't present the issues that Villanova would have, um, such as um, I don't know, dominant, uh, dominant, uh, like two, two or three dominant big men, such as like Purdue has or Kentucky, stuff like that. Uh, that's really Villanova's biggest issue because they only play like two bigs, uh, Reynolds and Ochefu. Uh, but there's bracket one done, putting Villanova back in the final four. Um, North Carolina in, I like Providence. And then this is the one bracket where I like the four and five meeting up in the in the round of 32, um, I don't really see an upset there. Um, stick with my Michigan Tulsa pick, as well as taking West Virginia. Um, I like Stephen F. Austin. I'll keep tabs on this game and continue to think about it. But I, I, I like West Virginia. I like I like the press and um, usually press from a really good school against a uh, mid-major usually tends to favor. <laughs> Uh, the, the better school. Um, I still like Pittsburgh over Wisconsin, and I like Xavier over Weber State, Advanced Xavier and West Virginia, and I still like Indiana over Kentucky and North Carolina over Providence, even though this is the one that's hardest for me. I really wish Providence was put in the bracket with Virginia, because I would have taken Providence all day. I would have taken Wisconsin and UConn all day over Virginia, um, and I think that's about it. St. Joe's would be a toss-up, but that Texas Tech Butler that Virginia got is a joke compared to uh, Providence and UConn, even USC and Colorado. I like USC and Colorado more than I like Texas Tech or Butler, and I like St. Joe's and probably Cincinnati more than I like Texas Tech or Butler. Um, but we were back to UNC, Indiana. Once again, it's going to be North Carolina, West Virginia. Oops, West Virginia. And I'm going to take North Carolina to the to the Final Four. Um, top bracket final is still the same, but, uh, did pick some more upsets in the first in the south bracket, as well as picking some upsets here in the east. Not too many in the east. I don't see too many upsets in the east. I think the best possibility for an upset is probably Providence, UNC, Chattanooga, Indiana, Michigan, Notre Dame, and Steve, probably Stephen F. Austin versus West Virginia, just because Stephen F. Austin knows how this goes, knows how the tournament works. Um, then down here, uh, we've got Oregon taking St. Joe's. Now here are the interesting ones. This is the 12-4, 12-5, or 12-5, 13-4 that I like the most. We're going to take U Yale and UNC Wilmington in this bracket. This is going to be the bracket where I see the most upsets possibly occurring, um, because I could see Northern Iowa and Green Bay pulling the upsets there. So it would be crazy. St. Joe's, uh, Oregon, Yale, UNC, Wilmington, Northern Iowa, Green Bay. And then down here in the bottom, Oklahoma, Oregon State. I still like Gary Payton. I like Gary Payton the second against that Havoc defense of ECU. I think they get it done and they get to the next um, against Buddy Hill in Oklahoma. Uh, still got to roll with Oklahoma. And I am going to take Carrington Love and Green Bay over Northern Iowa to advance to the Sweet 16 in the second week of the tournament. Uh, just simply, if I had Texas there, actually, Green Bay and Carrington, I do like that 14 seed. It is my favorite 14 seed, I think, right, right, minuscule above, um, uh, minuscule above, uh, Stephen F. Austin, um, and then I'm going to take Yale over UNC Wilmington and Oregon over St. Joe's, setting up arguably easy matchups for, uh, Oklahoma and Oregon to advance to the Elite Eight, um, Oregon was an 11 seed, when was Oregon an 11 seed and they made it, to? Uh, they played Louisville, was that three years ago or so? That was when you, Louisville won the national championship. I remember Oregon played them well in that game. Uh, Michigan State, Middle Tennessee. Um, I'm going to take 
I'm going to take Syracuse in this bracket. When I thought about Dayton chucked up bricks the last time I watched them. And they, they were just horrible. Uh, Utah squeaks by because I don't like Fresno State. I just, I don't know, I just don't like Fresno State. Utah, the three seed that I don't like the most, but that's also the 14 seed that I don't like the most. I like Buffalo more than Fresno State. Uh, Seton Hall, Gonzaga, we'll let that sit. Iona, Iowa State is an interesting one. Um, actually going to take Iona in this bracket, uh, make this a little bit different. Arkansas, Little Rock, I have not gotten to watch any of them. I'll probably have to go back and try to find their, uh, try to find a video, um, past game film or something like that and get a little bit of a look at them, um, because I haven't seen them at all. Uh, let's see here. They played 20 conference games? Or is that counting the tournament for conference games? They actually played 20 conference. That's crazy. They're 10-2 in their last 12, losing two in conference. Hmm. I think I like Purdue and A.J. Hammonds uh, against Arkansas Little Rock. Uh, up here, I like Texas Tech. And, uh, this is so stupid because I don't like Virginia. Like I don't like them to make a run deep, but there is no one to beat them. There's literally no one to beat them until this point where it's Iowa State or Purdue, and I like Iowa State there, but um, for the sake of this bracket, I have Iona. Um, and I, I just think Isaiah Whitehead will Seton Hall past Gonzaga, even though Wiltshire and Zabonis, I think, give a ton of uh, issues to Seton Hall. And then I really like Seton Hall over Utah, uh, and I like Michigan State all the way to the Final Four, pretty much, because I like them over Virginia. Uh, and the, for the first time, we're, we're actually going to take Virginia to the Elite Eight. Uh, but I like I like Michigan State there. And I like Buddy Heald in Oklahoma here. And I think we'll we'll mix it up a little bit here into the Final Four. We'll have North Carolina, Villanova. And I'll take Villanova over North Carolina in the National Championship. Um, just simply because I wanted to mix it up and not have a bracket where I had Oklahoma winning every time. Because I think they're going to be my pick. And I have not had it. Let's take a second. I have not had good luck running with the two seeds um, in past years. We had Miami with Shane Larkin. They were a two seed. They got knocked out pretty early. Uh, Phil Pressey and uh, Missouri, they got beat by Norfolk State. Um, I had Villanova when they were a two seed when UConn won it all. Uh, I had two brackets. I had UConn going pretty far in one of the brackets, but I had Villanova go pretty far that year, um, two seed in Michigan, they did make it to the Elite Eight, so I can't really say that, that Michigan team made it to the Elite Eight, and then wouldn't follow Dakari Johnson, which still bothers me for, to this day, they follow Dakari Johnson, they won that game, um, they were a two seed, I just have not had good luck with two seeds, let me, let me just say that, and if North Carolina and Villanova meet up, it's gonna be a scoring fest, so I'm gonna go 82 for Villanova, to 81 for North Carolina. Uh, so that is going to do it for this bracket, guys. Got Villanova winning it in this one. Oklahoma winning it in the other one. Uh, trying to narrow it down. Picking some upsets here. We've got... Uh, we got Van... We got Wichita State. I, I like Vanderbilt or Wichita State, I guess, in that one. I'm, I'm taking them that far in this bracket, whether... Whoever it is. Um, I do not like Tulsa to beat Notre Dame. So if Tulsa beats Michigan, you can forget about that. Notre Dame's going to play West Virginia. Um... That's about all the upsets in that bracket. Uh, down here, Iona. Uh, Northern Iowa, Green Bay, Yale, UNC, Wilming. I'm going to take some upset from this section right here. These these four games, there's going to be probably at least two upsets in my final bracket. And I'm feeling caring to the love in Green Bay. Moving on to play Oklahoma. I, I don't know. I'm feeling it. I like it. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in my next bracket. Peace out.